PanicAttackRecovery.com. Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, stress, anxiety, depression, and ADHD. People are sometimes curious about whether the time of day has anything to do with their anxiety or panic attacks. Other people wonder whether certain events in their life serve as a trigger for their panic attacks. Well, often in life, when things are about to happen, there are warning signs. You may have heard this phrase used in other contexts, but not with anxiety and panic attacks. If you think about your own life, however, you might have experienced some anxiety after a negative situation. For example, a disagreement with someone such as a colleague. Often, though, it's not necessarily one single negative event, but rather the accumulation of such events that make you feel really anxious. When such an accumulation of events leads to severe anxiety, we at PanicAttackRecovery.com think that these prior events could have been considered warning signs. However, every time you have this feeling does not signal a warning sign, but you do need to listen to your emotions and consider whether they represent warning signs. Then, when you decide you have encountered a valid warning sign, you can address it and then move on without taking the stress with you into your next activity. How do you do this? A great way to address your emotions is through Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT. If you are seeing a professional, then ask them to help you work on doing CBT. Alternatively, you can gain information on CBT through many free, credible sources of information online and even through your public library. Finally, we offer a great deal of coverage on CBT in our free newsletter. And you can subscribe to our newsletter by clicking on the card in the upper right corner of this video. Thank you for watching this video. We look forward to presenting another one next week. Panic Attack Recovery dot com